In this video, I've got three amazing cocktails that you can make using coconut puree. Hey Drinkstuff fans, I am Steve the Barman and today I am in my home studio because I'm bringing you the very first of a whole series of videos that I want to do for the Drinkstuff channel uh, involving the ODK purees. But today's video, I'm going to be doing uh, three simple serves. This is the whole essence of this whole series of videos. Uh, three simple serves with coconut puree. All right, we're going to try and do three different sort of base spirits as well, just to kind of give you proper inspiration. The first cocktail, uh, we can actually make it straight in the glass. It's kind of going to be a swizzle, uh, but it's sort of a cocktail and a swizzle just normally, I don't actually own a swizzle stick, uh, but normally it's kind of a swizzle stick and you kind of just do that uh, to mix the cocktail. Uh, so really fun and really easy. Uh, let's get straight into it. These cocktails, they're all depending on the, de sorry, these purees, depending on the actual kind of uh, effect that you want to get from the cocktail. I think 15 ml of puree is your kind of starting point and a pretty much a go-to for most cocktails. You really don't need much of these purees at all. That said, I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to use 25 ml because I really want a proper coconut vibe coming through on this one. So 25 ml of the coconut puree. And a little tip with these purees, I, not always, but I, because <laughs> I forget, um, I kind of recommend doing the puree first because you will get, especially on the coconut, get that, you will get a lot that stays in the measure. And you could just get a fresh measure, but the more fun thing is, is now washing it out with all the spirits that are coming. Right, that's out as of my own. So I told you it was all about the fun, didn't I? Oh, I told you, I'll leave that there to one side. Right, this is a rum cocktail, but I'm gonna come on to the rum at the end. Uh, next ingredient I want, this is not a pina colada, don't worry, it's not a pina colada. I'm not going to give you the basic easy ones that everyone knows how to make a pina colada. I'm going to give you fun flips, inspiration, that's what we're all about. Now, I'm just going 25ml of pineapple juice. Be my guest if you want to add a bit more. The cocktail's all about, and it's the same as cooking, experiment, have a little play, have a little, have a little test out, see what you like. Uh, so I've got 25 ml of pineapple juice. I want some freshly squeezed lime juice, or you could use the ODK stuff that I've mentioned on there. 15 ml of lime juice. Now I'm gonna get into the booze part of this. Uh, two bits of booze coming. The first one, I'll go for the week or stuff. Uh, this is JD or John Taylor's uh, Velvet for and pretty easy to get uh, in the UK. If you're at home, home bars, Easy to get hold of this online. Uh, if you're in a pub or bar, your wholesalers, most of them should. If you get cocktail liqueurs from me, you should be able to get this really, really easy. So 15 ml of Velvet Falernum. And all it is, is a weakish liqueur. It's 11% ABV, uh, lime, uh, van uh, ginger, and hints of almonds and stuff in there. But it's kind of like a Caribbean... Um, liqueur that they use for pimping up daiquiris and punches and things like that. It's absolutely lovely. So 15 ml of that. And then the final ingredient, I'm going for some coconut rum. Uh, I've got, I've relegated my DMF to my top shelf, but whatever coconut rum you've got, there are plenty on the market. I've, even, I've just done literally a Captain Morgan's uh, US coconut rum. Uh, so I've done that. Now again, for this, I'm going 35 mil, uh, but if you want to use 50 mil double bubble, be my guest. So I'm just washing the last bit of the coconut puree out there. There we go, 35 mil. Now it may not look a lot, but this is the whole point with swizzles. They don't actually use that much liquid. It's all about the dilution and the ice and the kind of the look of the drink. So crushed ice, just pop that in there. There we go. I'm just going to start it off, give it a quick, these spoons, they won't work in my hands. But as I say, normally for a swizzle, you just kind of do that. Oh, it does a little bit. Okay. You can get proper, proper, proper swizzle sticks um, online. I'm not sure that drink stuff is actually selling. I'll have, to, I'll have words with management. I'll have a word for it. Right, let's just fill this up with more crushed ice. Pop your bar spoon in, just gonna give it a churn. Lovely jubbly, got my tiki glass. And the other bit of fun as well, I want you to get involved. 
naming these drinks. I'm just going to garnish this with pineapple, slice of pineapple, a pineapple spear, and there we go. That is cocktail number one. Let's go for a little sip straw. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, really fun. So there we have it. That's your first piece of inspiration. That's your rum one. Coconut rum. Almost a pina colada. But just slightly, something slightly different. Call it a different name. And you've got a different drink for your menu. Right, let's pop that back. Right, the second cocktail I'm going for is a vodka-based cocktail with a hint of strawberry, but don't forget, we're still going with coconut. Now this one's gonna get served up in pina colada glass. I am gonna shake this one down, but just off camera, you won't be able to see it, but you might be able to hear it. I've got a blended, I've got a neutral bullet, so you could flash blend this for like five or six seconds. It's completely up to you, but I'm gonna shake it down for you. So. Uh, we can start off with the puree again so we can wash this out. Uh, 15 ml of coconut puree. See, I think this one is a 15er. 15 ml of coconut puree. Just stand there for half an hour. Just let this all come out. <laughs> there we go. You could, you could just go like that and gauge it. But as I say, cocktails are all about experimenting and having a bit of fun. Uh, but ultimately, they are kind of a little bit about ratios. So, you know, you, you're trying to balance with having some fun at the same time. So that's your first ingredient. Your second ingredient you want is some strawberry liqueur. Uh, no right or wrong with the brand. I am slowly getting through this. The Kuiper, I'm going to be swapping over to Giffard, personally at home, after this. But no brand affiliation. I just think Giffard are slightly better. I've got plenty of bowl stuff here as well. Um, so it's no right or wrong, whatever whatever you can get hold of. Um, but I just want 15 ml of a strawberry liqueur. For here, there we go, pour that in there. Uh, next ingredient, I'm going for some freshly squeezed lime juice uh, or ODK lime juice, if you're using that. Again, 15 ml of that. Uh, then I'm going for some pineapple juice. Uh, and again, twin 25 mil. You feel free to go more if you want, but I'm just going 25 mil. A lot of, I remember in my early pub days, a lot of people would think, oh, it's about 100 mil, 150 mil of your mixes and that. I promise you cocktails really aren't. They're all about those sort of balancing flavors. Uh, and then the last one, uh, I'm going for a plain vodka. Uh, that's all. I'm going to let the strawberry and the coconut do the work. I've got plenty of flavoured vodkas. Feel free. Have a dive around. Watermelon and lime? Eh, maybe. Peach and apricot. That could work quite well in there. Uh, raspberry vodka? Doesn't matter. Don't use the strawberry liqueur. You could have raspberry vodka instead. Have a little play. Have some fun. Uh, 25 ml. Just gonna, uh, sorry, 50 ml. I'm just going to wash the rest of the coconut out of that end. And there we go. So I've got 50 ml of vodka. And I will put all the recipes in the show description for you. Uh, so you can dive in there and find the recipes. Not a problem. Right. Uh, ice this up. There we go. Plenty of ice in there. As I say, feel free. Use, use your neutral bullet if you want. And let, have a little flash blend. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to flex my guns. Hard and fast shape, proper, proper welly. Right, there we go. Now, uh, as I say in my videos, there's two schools of thought here. If you're at home, you don't need to worry. You don't need to be pretentious. You could just pour that straight in there. Job is a good one. However, if you're in a pub or a bar, you're gonna be selling these, so you wanna kinda of go a bit more premium. So you'd use kind of fresh ice, it just looks better. And it won't be, the, the ice won't disappear as quickly. So uh, no need to double strain this, I'm just gonna single strain. Got a lovely kind of red. Yeah, lovely jubbly. Perfect. See what I mean? You don't, you don't need like 100 ml of pineapple juice, you just need that. 
And then to garnish, I'm actually going to top it up a little bit of crushed ice. So just do another bit of normal ice on top. And then garnish. I've got a lovely sort of strawberry here. Garnish is all about you as well. You can go pineapple. Got a pineapple there as well. Whatever you fancy for a garnish. Sprig of mint. Let's go Larry. Let's go Larry, look. How's that? See, have fun with your drinks. Have fun. What's this taste like? Oh, strawberry, coconut, the healthy kick of the vodka. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Right then, your third and final coconut puree inspiration. I'm going some of my favourite glasses from Drink Stuff. They come, they're little sets like that. I love these kind of tiki like glasses. I'm going to use the coupe, that's the Mai Tai. Again, say so I'll link uh, in the show description below of where you get these, what these glasses are and, where you, and uh, the link's just directly by them. Uh, I'm going to shake this one. This is uh, kind of a coconut margarita, but there's something about coconut and tequila that just works. For instance, I'm going to use normal tequila, but the brand of tequila I've, I use, do a coconut tequila. It's, it just works, I don't know why. I'm just going to use a normal tequila for this uh, and show you a really lovely kind of margarita. So, uh, first thing I want to do though, if you don't keep your glasses in the fridge, um, you just want to chill it down. So we're going to have a nice cold glass, a nice cold cocktail from the shaking, so we just want it to go in a nice cold glass. You can never have too much ice when it comes to cocktails. So that's nicely chilling away. Uh, let's go coconut first. 15 mil, 15 mil is going to work, an absolute treat in here. Uh, so we're just gonna do that. One five of coconut puree. Look at that. Oh, these, these purees are so good. Long life, shelf stable. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Right, so I've got 15 mil. Let's just get the air out. There we go, 15 mil of that. Right, pop the lid back on now. Uh, next ingredient, standard margarita we're going for now. So we're going for, what are we going to do? I'm going to go Blanco. You could go Reposado if you wanted to. Um, oh, I'm going Blanco. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, Blanco tequila. Uh, and I want 50 mil, double bubble. I'm just going to wash the rest of that puree out of there. So 25 and 50. So we've got that. Uh, next ingredient you want is some orange uh, liqueur. You can go various different ways from this. Um, you can go triple sec, which is your equivalent of Cointreau. Uh, for me, for my money, there's no point in having Cointreau and triple sec. They're virtually identical things. So pick one or the other, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, however, if you want to do the other way, I love to use a proper orange liqueur. So this is my brand, Fortunella. Think Grand Marnier, that is your equivalent to that. Uh, which is, they are all uh, orange curacaos. That's what that is. So you've got Cointreau, which is triple sec, and you've got Grand Marnier or Fortunella, which is an orange curacao. So whatever you fancy, um, you just want something orange. Uh, so I'm going 15 mil of Fortunella. Lovely. And the difference with this is, it's a kumquat, orange, like kumquats and mini oranges. Oh my God, this is so so lovely, so lovely. Right, uh, so I've got the tequila, I've got my orange, I now want some freshly squeezed lime juice, uh, 25 mil of that. And there we have it. Now, you could, bear in mind, these purees are sugar-based as well, so they are quite sweet. Um, so depending on the purees that you're using, uh, is whether you want to add any little extra bits of sugar. I personally don't need any extra sugar in that. I think that works a treat. However, if you want to add a little bit of sugar, 10 mil or something, be my guest. If you want to use, be authentic and use something like agave nectar, again, absolutely fine. Whatever goes, adjust it to your palate. Cocktails are all about your palate, all right? Everyone's palate is different. Right, we are going to shake this down now. So plenty of ice in there. Oh, there we go, loads of ice. Right, plenty of ice, that'll do. Tin on. Hard and fast shake, 10, 12 seconds. There we go. 
I just thought as well, just while I'm shaking it, it just caught my eye. If you want to do frozen coconut margaritas, again, <laughs> give it a little blend. But this is just a proper margarita. I say proper with coconut. Right, get rid of your ice because that's nicely chilled. And then um, I'm going to double strain this. Double strain will just get rid of all the tiny little shards of ice. So it gets rid of my my lime juice is quite pulpy as well. So it gets rid of all the little little pulp. There we have it. And then garnish. You could do salt rim on this. Um, I personally don't think it works with a coconut tequila, but that's up to you. You could do a sugar rim, spent limes, oh, coconut margarita. Mm. There is just something so flipping tasty about coconut and tequila. I don't know what it is. It just works. So there we have it. Uh, rum, vodka, tequila, three cocktails you can make with coconut ODK. <laughs>